Um, should I save here? Uh, I'm gonna save in 46. And, well, yeah, I guess, yeah, Sherman should be right there. All right. So, wait, let me get a good one. Uh, experience would be nice. So there's a fury here, yes? Or rather, there was. Yeah, Fang knows all about this place. If he had the same idea as us, there's a good chance he would head here. Yes, but if I, from what I recall, you were the one who had most of the ideas, Eric. If I'm being honest, part of me wonders if Fang would really think things through that far. Yeah. Analysis of his speech patterns, behavior, and general personality indicates a non-zero probability that this is true. Oh, please don't say that. Even if part of me does agree with you. But, but still, we don't have any other leads, right? Besides, I'm curious about the Fury. Why don't we give it a shot, okay? Very well. Although I gotta remember, I'm still only... Sherman's not that powerful. You know what? I may cheat. Well, it's not really cheating, but... I may just put Fang in my part. No, no, I shouldn't do that. I can at least have Lola, right? Because, honestly... Well, I said that before. Wait. Oh, yeah. She still has EX. Or Harley. Somebody. Um, right, I was wondering if there would be a, I was trying to say, I'm not sure how much I actually wanted to try on this map because, well, you know, I, I've played the game once already and, well, like, honestly, I, I still, I still have to finish Cyber Dimension and I still have the third game that I'm trying to play. With those, in, with, you know, with those going on, I kind of just want to see the story of Fairy Fencer because... Even when I started Fairy Fencer, I wanted a break from these type of games because, I, if you guys think about it, I've been playing them for nearly two years and not really any other type of game. Mega Tag Mention was really my only break. But. Eh. Let's see what happens. I can always switch if I feel like it's too. Well, yeah, let's just see. Some of the stuff I heard coming out of Tiara's mouth. Well, yeah, it was quite different. The Tiara I know acted like a proper little princess. But maybe this is her true nature. I don't think well. No, I don't I don't I don't necessarily think that. Huh? What's wrong, Lord Sherman? Are you getting tired? Oh, he's probably thinking about it again. No. I was just gazing at the landscape and feeling a bit sentimental. You don't have to be concerned. Sentimental. But you've never been here before, right? Taking time to admire the view, even now. That's so like you, Lord Sherman. Hey, why don't I go and scout ahead? No bad idea, Aaron. Stick together. I wonder if the reason for her sudden change is... You are the last person I would have expected to come calling. Are you here to pick a fight? What's going on? Do you think I would simply appear before you if I did? Huh. You should be smart enough to know better than that, at least. What? Wait, when did this happen? Then state your business. I wouldn't want someone to spot the two of us meeting in secret and get the wrong idea. That is true. Someone within your group of friends carries the blood of the vile god. Did this happen in all the routes? No. That's all I wanted to tell you. So you should probably be on your guard. And when did this happen? When he left? He speaks nonsense. Although, the same crest Bernard displayed also appeared on Tiara's forehead. Which means Tiara and the vile god really are. Is something wrong, Sherman? Your heart rate and body temperature have measurably increased. Mark my words, Ryushin. If she has inherited the vile god's blood in this world as well... Then what? Then I swear... 
I will kill her. Now that sounds like the Sherman we all know. Understood. But for now, we can only pray that our fates have changed. Yep, that sounds like the Sherman we all know, but then again, well, this is a much more complicated situation. It's not like Tiara is a sister or anything. I need to see that moment, though. Anywho. Alright. I didn't grind at all, so this might be a mistake, but I'm hoping my armor and... Actually... How are my weapon points? Wow, they're low. Yeah, um... I actually have... He also has a bow, a spear, and an axe. Well... YOLO. YOLO! I believe we've reached the end of the line. Yeah. It should be around here somewhere. What the? Did you forget about the trap, Aaron? Oh, what? <sighs> Ethel and Galdo? Are they the same? They look like the same. You really gave me a run for my money. But now it's all over. Uh, no, at least Galdo's not the same. Galdo? And that person he's fighting. Wait. They're coming this way. Did Ethel recognize us? Dorfa is after me. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I was like, is Dorfa in charge of the of the place that she was at? You can talk? And Dorfa? What are you talking about? Golgotha was a part of Dorfa. Maybe we can Oh hey, what's this? Some adoring fans are here to observe my awesomeness? Maybe we could talk him out of it? But it looks like he's actually enjoying his role now. Well, you're out of luck. We've already reached the end of the game. I don't even need to use my special move. Hey, Goldo! What are you talking about? You're not helping Dorfa, are you? He was before. That part shouldn't be a surprise. Huh? Who the hell are you? Who said you could talk to me like you know me? Stay back. It would appear he suffered the same fate as Tiara. Which means... Hmm. The way you're dressed, I'm guessing you're a fencer, huh? Well, today's my lucky day. All right, looks like we're fighting Gaul, though. I was getting bored chasing after this traitor. But now I get the pleasure of taking care of a stray fencer, too. Yeah, he's not on our side. Gaul, don't hold on! You're not serious, are you? What's going on in this world? All we can do for now is push through whatever little problems get in our way. Let's go, Ryushin. That is very true. Negative. After analyzing the target's maximum potential combat capability, I see no need to fuse. There you go again! <laughs> Boy, you talk a big game. Well, I'm going all out right from the beginning. Marissa, Fair Eyes! Alright. Okay. Do your best, Goldikins. You just sit there and watch, Ethel. Once I destroy this arrogant prick, I'm coming for you next! You call that you're no match for Sherman, at least you shouldn't be. I see you like to talk just as much as ever. I gotta earn me some street cred. Then I can rise up through the ranks and get rich and famous. So it seems like Galdo didn't meet Zank then in this world. So he wasn't treated horribly or saw the horrible treatment of the uh other fencers, or not other fencers, but other of Zank's people. He's just trying to rise to the ranks normally, so because he was poor in the first, so that part makes sense. Here I come! If he didn't meet Zing. I shall give my all. Here I come. Oh, but I'm faster. Yeah, I think because I played on hard mode and I lowered the difficulty, that that also is gonna help. You trying to resist or something? Cyclone, okay. 
stand in my way, you will die. Wait, did I gain health? How? Wait, can I stop him? Why waste time? Like, honestly, why waste time? Um, how about upper stream? Upper stream. I cast you off. Head to the sky. I don't remember this ability though. You disgust me. Ready at once. Oh, and now I can fair eyes. Fair eyes. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah, I remember why I liked it so much. That coming. All right. Uh, let's just go with the Skyfall. Everything in this strike. Wait, I was about to say is that. I gotta take him out. My soul roar. Actually, it's not. Back call on my Here I come On my end Upper Street Take this Finding light Alright How was that? Now atone for your sin Fair eyes out Goldenkins, this isn't good I hate to say this, but your enemy has you outmatched. Yeah, that part's not too surprising. But I haven't finished off Ethel yet. I can't back down now. Yeah, we aren't gonna let you do that, Gold. As long as you live, you'll always have setbacks. Withdraw for now, and you can mitigate your failure with this new information. See, honestly, it would be good if Galdo in the first route had had this personality before, and then he grew to be the likable guy that we know now. You know? Gosh, you're smart. You always find new ways to surprise me. So then, I guess I'll let you all off the hook for today. Yeah, yeah, sure. Caldo, why? <sighs> She's been injured badly. We need to tend to her wounds right away. I appreciate the gesture, but we couldn't possibly ask you to do more than you already have. Yeah, not, not Karin, it's, it's completely fine. He's right, Lord Sherman. I don't know what they've been through, but I do know we can't trust them. Last time we met, she attacked us. Oh, that is true, but still, considering she's the- it, well... But the fact that Karin I'd still do it, alright? I'm afraid I don't recall that. I remember all the missions we completed for Dorfa, but we've never seen you before. Wait, you guys worked for Dorfa? This is totally different from the past I remember. We should put all that aside for now. I'll carry you back to the inn. Here, get on my back. And <laughs> sure it's completely different from- Well, I mean, the character's been saying that the entire time. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be foils of each other. Where is Fang? Lord Sherman, wait! Are you sure about this? i do it. i probably just cut that off. Um, but... Rest assured, something in the future will, I guess, confirm to you guys that... No, just like I said, I like helping people even if it would cause harm to myself. Is that always good? No, but it's how I like to operate. Those who were once our allies are now our enemies. It may be wiser to trust those who are once our enemies, don't you think? Oh, right. Ethel wasn't a part of their party before. I gotta remember that. Ethel and Apollonius were not a part of their party. So that's why Aaron is like that. Gotcha. Well. Further, I believe it would be in our best interest to learn more about Dorfa's movements throughout this world. That is true. Galdo is working for Dorfa, and it seems Dorfa has been pursuing Tiara as well. This is a thread connecting them all together. If Ethel's been working for Dorfa, it might be good to hear her story. Like, Sherman is also honestly playing the game like I would right now. And I the, the, Just why you gotta be... Like, why they gotta make him... Uh, anyways. I understand now. I do. But still. We've done everything we can do to treat her. 
I think all she needs now is plenty of rest. Why didn't they take her to a hot? Well, Dorfa may have found her there. How can I possibly repay you? If you hadn't shown up, Ethel would be. Not just Ethel. You too, Karin. But I, I don't. I don't like getting payment for stuff like this. It's fine. This suits our interests as well. Yeah. More importantly, what can you tell us about Dorfa? You were working for them, yes? Yes. But the Dorfa we knew just suddenly changed one day. Really? It was never exactly wholesome. But now it's not even really a company. It's just a bunch of villains trying to rule over others. <laughs> uh, really? That's a change? Defying Dorfa meant death. Plain and simple. Ethel and I couldn't take it anymore. So we tried to escape, but... Dorfa, I remember, was doing some awful stuff, too. It was never out in the open like that. Yeah. And, uh, consider... Like, that's really a terrible company philosophy. You defy the company, we're gonna kill you. Uh, really? Hmm. I believe I've come to understand some small part of this world's secrets. And what is that, Sherman? What do you mean? I think you can look at this world as one whose fate has been distorted. I like to call it parallel world, but sure, that works too. After our encounter, the vile god's power may have remade our world. But why would it? What doesn't what make no sense at all is why they sent you back to a point where they're more vulnerable. To would explain why everyone's personalities have become twisted, and why the past is different from the one we remember. But if that's true, then how come you and me are still the same? Just before the vile god was resurrected. You invoke the power of the goddess. And I suppose I was in the blast radius, as it were. And not Fang? Well, it could have been. That could explain why I managed to avoid being influenced by the vile god's power. <laughs> well, that's ironic. Which would mean everyone else. We're no longer the ones we once knew. That would be a reasonable assumption, anyway. So just the people who were around? But not only Tiara and Galdo were knocked out, right? So maybe the others are fine. Maybe. But now it's clear what we must do. Dorfa is to blame without a doubt. If we want to restore our world, we must destroy them. There we go again, Sherman. You're so, you're so, like, either they're good or we must kill them. You want to take on Dorfa? You can't be serious. Do you realize just how powerful they are? No, there's not really much of a choice. Whether we want to or not, there is no other path forward. Yeah? I want to help too. Oh, that would serve your interests as well. Well, I was thinking the same thing, Ethel. I can't believe there are still people in this world who would stand against Dorfa. Would it be alright if we asked you to add our strength to yours? I'm fine with that. You're quite welcome to join us. More allies is never a bad thing. But if we're gonna go up against the vile god, we really are gonna need Fang. Yeah, cause you can't use- well... Fang's your partner. You need- we need Fang. I agree. Let's renew our search for him tomorrow. I only pray he hasn't become our enemy as well. But still, like, really? Fang, where are you? I feel like Eren could at least fix him with their connection. Oh. And here we are back at the E. So, you couldn't dispose of one measly traitor. How useless. Useless, useless. A truly terrible performance. I just realized the uh, Dwarfus, I mean, Fairy Fencer's text didn't load in like this. When did that happen? Maybe. But, like I said, some weird Fencer got in my way and. Then exterminate this fencer pest immediately. Rebellion against Dorfa is unforgivable. I don't care what it takes, track him down. You should go yourself. And you will lose. I promise you. And if you fail us again... Because Sherman literally did. Now I'm thinking about it. He did just walk right in there and take over Dorfa, so... Yes, ma'am. Sorry to interrupt, but... Can't we deal with these traitors and stray fencers whenever we feel like it? Wait, is Mariana the one in charge right now? Do you have a point, Director Bernard? My point is, there's an order to things. 
Dorfa has used the Vile God's power to expand rapidly. But there are still all kinds of unknowns. If we want to solidify our control, I think our priority should be finding the last remaining fragment. Last remaining fragment. You're talking about that Tiara girl. Oh. Tiara, we have no idea where she is. Oh, he hit part. Part of him is in her. Oh, that's interesting. Then just send him to search for her. Even one more person will hasten her discovery. Fang. Very well. Galdo, join the search for Tiara. And of course, my position on failure has not changed. Oh, Galdo, okay. I, I completely understand, and you can count on me. Galdo here gets a job done when it counts. You didn't just before. We appreciate your full cooperation. By the way, how is our new president doing? Oh. Oh, very well. He's keeping himself entertained by draining our company funds. Yeah, that's gotta be Fang. We've limited the costs to the entertainment budget for now, but... Even our resources are limited. Have Paiga give him a warning. As the president's aide, it's his job to rein in his recklessness. <laughs> Understood, Deputy President Mariana. Bernard grows bolder by the day. But of course I realize we couldn't control the Vile God's power without him. So then what are you doing about that? Either way, I'll have to act soon. Fangs changed, I think. No, I'm not gonna go. I, I know there's a slight color. I did notice that. Okay. For now. Yeah, with Ethel in the party, we don't have to worry about anything. Good. Lord Sherman, about where we should go next. Karin says she knows where we can find a fury. This song is new. I've heard it once, but I don't remember when. Recovering Furies was basically our department, so we know exactly where we can find some Furies that haven't been collected yet. Oh, well that's handy. Then we'll follow your lead. If Fang does decide to go after the Furies, that's the best chance we have of running into him. I think Fang's not concerned about that at all, though. We'll just have to put our faith in that for now. It doesn't mean that he's on our he's our enemy necessarily. I mean, that could be his strategy. You know, that sounds like a Fang strategy. Like in, instead of, you know, doing something much more detrimental, he's like, I'll just pretend I'm the president and I'll drain their funds. That way they won't be able to use. That sounds like a Fang plan. But Ethel, how are you feeling? Oh yeah, good point. Is she battle ready? I'm fine. I'm tougher than I look. You honestly look pretty tough. Scanning vital signs. Sherman, she is not in peak condition, but her combat ability should not be hindered. Really? How does that work? Understood. Then let's go. I'll be counting on you. Thanks. I'll do my best. Oh, darn it. <laughs> now voices. Alright, looks like Aaron and Ryushin are still having issues. State your... <laughs> But does he eat, Aaron? In silent treatment. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he doesn't eat, so no need to join. It's just, you know, like, it's... That's what my parents used to tell me all the time. You know, like, come to the dinner table. Just to... Even if you're not hungry. Just a time to, you know, talk with others. But I could see how Ryushin would think that's completely pointless. But he, he's a robot. Aaron. Uh, all right. You know, I mean, I guess you would, but still. Wow. Well, I don't think so, but... Oh, really? Oh, that's interesting. So that doesn't work for Eric. Well, now I can imagine Fang wouldn't want to share any food with her at all. Yeah, look, 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 this is a good reason why Aaron is Fang's, uh, fit fairy. There we go. Yeah, I can imagine. 
That is true. It leaves you, uh, so you don't get sick. Well, I mean, you're not wrong, but one person? Oh, what? Wait, are you serious? You So he really doesn't? Wow! I didn't... He wasn't, he wasn't joking back then. Wow, okay. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. Wow. So doesn't he, he doesn't miss that at all? Like, I mean, not gonna get into that. Not gonna get into that. Yeah, he has. That is a very sufficient answer. Yeah, I don't I don't think it will work with you two. Oh darn it, another one? Oh, it's the same scene. Oh well yeah. Yeah, probably. Oh uh, no, I I that is important. It's so weird that Fang isn't here though, but anyways. I want another scene. You're fine. Alright. Well, that is true, but still. <laughs> I w I'm not surprised, but still. Ethel seems Im quite embarrassed. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, he, she's not being rude. Yeah, she's just being shy. You see... If Sherman had said that beforehand, that would have sent off so many red flags. Though I can't see that. Now they say children are in, you know, animals are the best judge of character. So, yeah. Sherman, you might want to take a look at yourself, man. Well, he's got something inside. Yeah. So you recognize, then. I want to see Sherman meet his sister. I hope that happens. Well, I wouldn't say- Ethel's pretty much the same. She seems pretty much the same to me. Alright. I, I like it that the- Events are actually involving other people. You know what? I think that's actually an another problem that uh, that Fairy Fencer had. There weren't many scenes with other characters talking to other people. It's always Fang. It's like, why does it always have to be Fang, you know? Some relationships would probably be good. Like Ethel and Karin, for example, just talking. I remember, um, like, yeah, in, for example, in uh, the Neptunia series, I always want to see Uzumate and PC interact because. Their interactions seem so interesting well, when they actually have them, you know? Or just, you know, the Neptunia series mixes it up a lot better. It's not just everybody talking to Neptune. Although in Rebirth 2, it was everybody talking to Nepgear. But anyways, um, yeah, so take care. Aaron and Karin, Car uh, yeah, I guess they kind of are. Well, name, I mean... Uh, the other actually kind of does have some effect, I think. Well, Fang was able to do it too. Ethel was just really open to help at this point, so. Yeah. Uh, Sherman. Sherman, you should, you should, you should look at yourself and wonder why people are doing that. He's not being hard on himself. He's, he's being truthful. I can buy that completely. Yes, he is. Well, yeah, I would still say Transformers are robots for you, Sheen. 
Wait, what did you- what did you- what did you do to him? Yeah! Ethel! And she did it with a smile on her face! Oh, actually, now that I think about it, Ethel is different. Than, uh... Than normal. She is wearing her second outfit, so... Yeah. Anyways, yeah! Alright, she's a fairy. Oh, well... Wait, isn't Karin taller than Ethel? Wait... I thought Karin was... Well... Maybe... I don't know... Not sure... Hmm... Oh, Lola has a sub effect. Wait, we don't get to at least meet her before this? Alright... Well... Bluey Valley. I can go get that later. Right now, let's continue on. And now it's time for the question of the day. And for this one I'm going to ask, if you were in the Fairy Friends of World and were sent back in time like what happened in last route or in this route, who is the one person you would like to have with you besides Eren? I say besides Eren because obviously she has the goddess's power, she can do some things with that. But, you know, who else would you like to have and why? Would you want them because they're your favorite character, because you enjoy their company, you think they'd be the most useful in the situation, or you just don't want that particular person your enemy, or, you know, risk of being your enemy? Uh, what would be your reason? So please, post your thoughts down in the comments below, and I will see you all next time.